The latest version of my cursor package focuses on 3D cursors. So it's no longer a static image, but an actual 3D model that is rendered by Unity. One main benefit is that the cursor can now transform from one pose into another with a smooth transition. The poses are idle, forward, right or back, and the new states right, zoom, left or left in an alternative version, as well as the new animated forbidden pose. Beside these navigation elements, we also have an interaction category. Here we have the grab state and the drag state, which can be combined into a grab and drag state. So while I am holding the mouse, I have the grab position and on mouse over I have the drag pose. There's also still the drop pose, which has the white orb, and you can easily replace this white orb in this version with any other object that you like. Also for take and put. New is the point and poke combination. So we have the pointer, and when I click, a poke animation plays. In the specials category, we have read and spell, as before, and for spell we now have a new animated version. Also new is the fight pose and the scan pose, which is meant to be a pose like touching a hand fingerprint sensor or something like that. And there's a variation of it, which is spread, which has a wider space between the fingers. As you can see in this demo, all these things work with a 2D UI system. But of course, you can also use 3D objects as event triggers for the poses. Beside moving to the real-time 3D rendering, this new version includes smooth 3D transitions between the states for the 3D cursor, which also allows separate lighting of the cursor mesh and the game scene. I have cleaned up the scripts so that they can be used as a library for easy use and inclusion. The demo code is better isolated so that you simply can delete the demo code and keep the library code required for your game. I added a few utilities for debugging and testing. The cursor symbols are the objects that are held in the fingers in some states and you can easily exchange and manage them through a utility extension. Some optimization features are included for smoothing and adjusting visual presentation and transitions. Also, we have an extended document PDF and video explainers and tutorials for the new 3D version.